Hi, my name is Shahid Bashir. In this video, I will tell you how to conduct a good analysis and findings of a study. So, uh, up till now, by using one big example of a thesis and uh, by seeing my previous videos, uh, you will come to know that until now, we have defined the research objectives come through literature review and made a conceptual model and now we are about to test this particular model based on the stated methodology in my earlier videos so this will be starting from a very simple introduction although i must say that this is the most difficult part of conducting a research where you need to be pretty much precise and uh, you need to be something more skillful related to the research softwares and uh, some other techniques and uh, maybe you need to use uh, what I can say common sense sometimes it's not pretty much common so okay so just just coming to the introduction the chapter introduces and describes the survey findings and analysis it handles the topic pertained to the descriptive analysis and non-response bias in addition this chapter covers testing of the survey through the analysis of reliability and reliability of scales regression sobel test and bootstrapping in the end this chapter talks about the findings of the hypothesis and data spot analysis so reliability i would just said and validity of scales okay okay uh, because um, through this chapter uh, I cannot tell you uh, more precisely how to apply this test or in other words how those statistical tests are working and how the data is being interpreted. Instead, my job is to tell you how to conduct a thesis so or a research. So what I'll be doing particularly is that I will give you a combined recap of how to conduct this particular chapter and then at the end i will give you particular sources through which you can easily uh, what i can say easy easily see or uh, get practice of those research softwares so i made this uh, on best of my efforts uh, so that it becomes pretty much easy for you everyone to understand okay on the other hand I'm using the very basic level so that everybody can understand it in a more precise manner so if you are there in the very advanced level so there might be something else that can apply uh, into your thesis but uh, it's just like because I am I'm using this on a very beginner level so uh, this data will will be pretty much helpful for all kind of study people especially who are doing some research on the basic level so this will be a more great help for such people so what i would say here that data findings and analysis okay usually we need to conduct one two three four five six six sections so and uh, I would say that this is the longest chapter of the entire thesis so it will start by assessing the reliability where as I earlier said that the Cronbedge alpha coefficient of reliability should be at least 0 0.7 so here I have taken 0 0.8 because the results might be more good so you can claim that it were more than 0 0.8 but 
usually uh, we can say that uh, 0 0.7 can also be enough so then we need to get uh, data preparation and screening first and then the profile of the respondent especially to justify why you we use particular demographic variables to assess the profile of the respondents then descriptive statistic then validity analysis and uh, finally the special test or what i can say specialized test test